Hello, I'm David Pogue, New York Times technology columnist. And for this week's video, it's going to be a little bit different. This week, I'm just going to tell you a horror story. It's a true story, but it's a horror story. It's the story of my life this week. See, I decided to review some Wi-Fi routers. These are the little boxes that broadcast a wireless internet signal throughout your entire house. This year's specialty is the N router, 802.11N, which is supposed to have 10 times the range and 10 times the speed of the old 802.11G routers. Sounded really good. I got four brands rounded up, Apple, Belkin, Netgear, Linksys. So how do you test the speed and the range of these things? Well, I went down to the basement and I hooked up computer number one with a wire to the wireless base station. Then I took laptop number two and into it I put the matching company's wireless N card. Then I took this wireless laptop successively farther away, first floor, second floor, third floor, and then I would run back down to the basement after each test to see what the throughput had been, the speed. So here's where things got a little wacky. It turns out that the speeds were in the 30 to 40 megabits per second range. Okay, these things are advertised to have 300 megabits per second. So something was seriously, dramatically wrong. So I called up the companies and they started helping me troubleshoot. They said, well, first of all, um, reinstall Windows. So then they said, you know what, what testing software are you using? And I said, it's this $25 program called Performance Test. They said, don't use that. Use iPerf. That's what we use in the industry. You just need to type uh, iPerf hyphen C space, the IP address of the computer that's doing the listening. Okay, fine. So I got iPerf. And you know what? I got exactly the same results. I've got the top engineers and PR people from all four companies on the line. They don't know what's going on. I've spent four days running these stupid tests. I haven't seen my kids. I haven't been joining the family for dinner. I missed Easter. And I still am no closer to a solution. The last possibility is interference. Maybe there's something about my house, you know? So I'm like, all right, fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get in the car and drive to a state park, 100 miles from anything. No buildings, no wires, no nothing. So I'm out in the middle of a field, I've got the car running, the router plugged into that, and you know what? No change. No! And besides, I had a hunch this wasn't related to interference, because you know what? When I tried the Apple router, I was getting 93 megabits per second. That is what the number should have been. It was only the Linksys, the Belkin, and the Netgear. So finally, 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 somebody makes a suggestion. Maybe it's the laptop. In other words, I've tested other cables, other testing software, other routers, other locations, but I never tried a different set of computers to do the tests with. So, on the phone I got with IBM Lenovo, who makes the ThinkPad laptops, persuaded them to overnight me two brand new perfect laptops so that I could start fresh and run the tests again. I was hoping and praying that this time I would see some different numbers. And you know what? This time, I did. This time, the throughput numbers were much, much lower. Yeah, I got like five megabits per second. Now, as we come to the end of the video here, this is the part where you'd expect me to present the solution to the mystery and to tie up the story with a happy ending. Unfortunately, I can't offer that to you. I never did figure out what the heck was going on around here. I just kind of wanted to vent a little. Be sure to join me next week when I review a selection of the latest mouse pads.